Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. Welcome to the StockSwish Show second play of the day. This is TFM. This actually was my favorite gap today. This was my top pick today. TFM rated 21 points. So let's take a look at this. You know, I, I, I just, just love when stocks do everything they're supposed to do. And when this broke this morning and broke the area, initially I wanted it to back up and was going to give it room up to 44.15-ish uh, to rally. But then it kept going and going and going and going, and then it just collapsed. So the open of the stock on this day here was 42.49. Really nice. And again, set the high of the day very, very early on and never looked back. Do you see here where this held the gap and then broke? and then ran all the way down. And there it is. I mean, this is just, you know, really pretty here. So it did not break 40. This is going to break 40. If it doesn't break 40 today, which it's, you know, low odds here because it's Friday afternoon. At this point now, it's almost 1.30. Although there is two and a half hours left in the day. I think there's a better chance of this breaking 40 on Friday. I mean, on Monday. And if this breaks 40 on Monday, then it's just going to collapse. I, I I thought this was going to possibly break 40 today, just the way it was going down. But by the time I was in this trade in the morning, I said, hold it, hold it, hold it, keep going, keep going, keep going. I could I saw this one coming down to the dream target. It had like what I call a rubber band effect where you're pulling it and it pulls on itself and you see the extension. It's like, um, I don't think I can make it. No, I can't make it happen here. It's like I would have to show you, like if I cut this off, like this is what I was looking at here in the morning before this all transpired. But, but when this starts to make it look like that, I can see it pulling itself. I can see this before it starts to set up. I can see that it was pulling itself down on top of itself. And then I was actually going to break the 42 level. And that's what it did. So let's go look at this one. I was watching this out of the gate too. Very beautiful chart, very beautiful weakness. Uh, look at the size of this gap down. Huge. And yet the stock opens and can't get a breath of life. Love the fact that it opened here, tried to back up on itself, couldn't have a nice big fat bar here the first bar of the day. It's almost a buck at 75 cents. This isn't a swoosh, but it's a great sign of weakness. Stock rally back up, booped a little bit over the high, went eight pennies over, which is not a big deal. Again, these are areas. Actually, the trade was in here. I grabbed this a little late. Uh, this just broke so fast. I barely had time to see where the stop was supposed to be. And this is the way these things are sometimes when they want to go. And I was doing the INTC at the same time too. So it was a very active morning. Stock ran up here and actually hit right on here in here too. Hit and broke in here. Could have done another add in here. Came on down. Stayed with it. Stayed with it. Stayed with the whole thing. Stayed with it here. Actually lowered my stop. Lowered my stop where then my risk was only like five cents. And just let it break. Let it break, let it break, let it break. Squeezed as much as I possibly could out of this thing. And it was a, it was just a beautiful move. This is like a $1.50 move down in here where I got out of it. Now, I did not hold it all the way down to 40. It just doesn't make sense to hold something through the next reversal time when you're up this much money. But it actually did go all the way down. It actually kept breaking. It went all the way down and got down to 40.03. I mean, you could have and pivot, lowering the pivots here, but you, you know, you, you're bar by barring something when you're up this much money. That's really what you have to do. I had so much conviction in this gap today to go. I just wasn't sure exactly how it would set up. And it did end up working out beautifully. And uh, this is the fresh market. Really, really, really nice bearish gap today. Uh, this was my top pick. It did have the biggest move, and it does have potential to go again on Monday or possibly this afternoon. Again, I'm done trading for the day. It was a really fun morning, a really good morning. Love the extension on this. Here we go, the 15-minute chart, 9.30, 9 45, 10 o'clock, 10 15, 10 30, all the way down. Do, go, go. Here it goes. Do. And that's a beautiful thing. And here again is why you have to take the trade out. You, it's very hard to ever get out of the low of the day. You have these areas and when something keeps breaking and breaking and breaking, you're up so much money, you have to get out. And here's what happens over lunch. So this is again why you have to get out. This could set up here though. If this squishes down on top of this between 2 o'clock, 2.15, 2.30 reversal time. This might set up again today. I'm not redoing it though. I'm done. 
Really nice morning, strong close to the week, a uh, beautiful way to go into the weekend, a holiday in just a, just a couple of days. Uh, so fun to trade and have everything work so beautifully. And sometimes you just, you know, say, oh my gosh, I love this job, you know, and today is one of these days. So this is Melissa with the Stockswish.com. This is TFM. Stockswish show play of the day, top pick, 21 point rate of gap. I use a 26 point rating system to rate my gaps to determine if I want to play the gap on the day. And if the gap rates 20 points or more than I watch it to trade, to set up. And that's what I did here with this TFM. And I teach a class on how to trade gaps and rate gaps. Uh, the next class is December 14th and 15th. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend.